in December 2023 in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. While delegates from the more than 198 countries, as it is customary, attended the Conference of Parties COP28, news broke out back in Nigeria on the alleged huge number of delegates and the purported amount the federal government spent to sponsor them. I didn't come here to shop. I didn't come here to sight. Since then, not only has there been calls to cut down the numbers, but the demands also extends to all activities that border on governance. To begin with, the presidency responded by setting up and approving mandates for office of the Special Presidential Envoy on Climate Change only recently. The president's special advisor, Ajirin Galali, revealed the president's position to prune the numbers. That anyone who is attending this conference has an economic imperative. I think uh, the UN General Assembly has followed uh, the same pattern. There is going to be a shortened list. The focus of the government, one, is um, accelerate access to finance for our NDC implementation. It's not just the number alone. Let everybody be given responsibility. What is known as Nigeria Pavilion, where its activities are organized, will no longer exist. We are not uh, getting involved in high-end purchases of pavilion spaces at a time when our people are grappling with economic difficulty. The president has gone ahead to authorize the establishment of Climate Accountability and Transparency Portal. And what this means is that it will ensure efficiency and accountability of the nation's participation at COP29.